Oh, hey guys. Like the title may suggest, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade that GPU or the graphics card in your gaming system. Let me have all that intro, and I'll be right back to show you how to get this done. Alright guys, like the title suggests, and I said in the intro, I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade that GPU in today's video, or your graphics card for your gaming system here in 2020. It's a pretty easy process. You know, I'm going to show you the physical installation of it or how to take out the old video cord and how to put in the new video cord. I'm going to show you how to uninstall the old drivers for your current GPU and how to install the new drivers. In this video, I'm going to be replacing my XFX RX580 8GB cord and I'm going to be going up to the EVGA GeForce RTX 2070 Super Black Gaming Edition. And yes, guys, I play games at 1080p, 60 frames per second. I wanted to, uh, I'm going to go with the GeForce RTX card for a couple of different reasons. Number one, I want to get into streaming. So I need that extra headroom for the GPU over top of what, what it's going to be using up for my gameplay. And the NVENC encoder on the GeForce cards is, you know, they're just as good as if your CPU... If you're encoding with your CPU at medium settings, you know, the new NVENC encoder is just as good. But uh, let me roll that video and uh, I'll show you how to get this, uh, how to get the cord installed and uh, and how to do the driver uninstall and how to reinstall the new driver for your video cord. And I'll be back with my conclusion to the video. All right, guys, now to physically install you the new graphics cord. Take your computer and you take off the front side panel of it, which this is the Focus G by Fractal Design. I got two thumb screws. This may vary on your case depending on the type of case you have. If you got a tempered glass side panel or something, these will come off differently. Loosen up the thumb screw, slide it back just a little bit, and it comes off. We'll set that to the side. Okay, lay the computer down here. Number two Phillips, you take out the two thumb screws that holds it to the side of the case. Oops, we'll have to get that dug up out of there, won't we? Get them pulled up out. Disconnect your power cable. Lay it to the side. Right down in here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but right here towards the back, up towards the CPU, there's a little clip. You got to push down on it. Pull up on the graphics card. Just pull it up out. And then there's the thumb screw I dropped. Fell down out of my graphics cord. Okay, with that, here, here's that little clip I was talking about. I reach down in there and push back. Make sure it's pushed back. Take your new, your new graphics cord, which I'm going to be putting in the EVGA Black Gaming RTX 2070 Super into this one. Pull off the little cover that protects the 16 slot. Put that to the side. Now, since you've already had GPU in your system, you're, you're going to use the same two back slots you've done used. Now, if you're going from a two-slot cord to a three-slot, you may have to move, move the next one. And then you got that little piece of plastic up there covering that. We'll leave that one there. That one there is for the L LSI bridge. We're going to leave that on there because I don't plan on running S SLI. You line it up with the 16 by 16 slot. You push it down in there until you hear a nice satisfying click. Now, well, make sure your cable is out of the way. Push it down in there until that level clicks back up. And you can give it a little tug at this point, and it should be in there pretty good. Then you take and put your two thumb screws back in. The same holes that they came out of. And 
and get one started. Screw it down in there a little bit. Take a second one. Get it started down in there a little bit. Then you take your screwdriver and you just tighten it back down. Just like so. All right, since the RX580 we took out, I only had an eight pin connector. This one's got an eight pin and six pin both. Might have to, might have to cut the zip tie here off of this, off the PCI Express. If I can get that extra six pin up here. And when you do it, you make sure you line up this little clip right here. And there should be a notch on the side of the and there should be a notch on the side of the connector here that lines up with it. You can also tell by the way the pins is a little bit different. There's only one way they line up. And we're going to take it and slide it down in there. Just like so. Then you're going to take the 8 pin that goes along with it. It's a 6 plus 2 pin here. It's the same one that was running the RX580. And we're going to take it and plug them into the 8 pin connector here. Then if you want to, you can take the zip tie and kind of tie them back or whatnot. If you want to, just kind of make them look a little bit better. Maybe run them up along the top of the cord or something. Make them look a little bit better if you'd like to. And with the cord back, that there's the complete installation of the cord. And just like taking it off, this will vary depending on your case. And you take it and reinstall your side panel into it. Just like so. Got it slid down on there, all right. I'm gonna set it up. And I'm going to tighten down my thumb screws here. And with it setting up here on the end where you guys can have a view of it, I'm going to tighten down the thumb screws just by thumb. And right, here's the second one. Alrighty guys, that pretty well wraps up the installate the physical installation of the graphics cord. Let me get it hooked up and uh, I'll show you how to uninstall the display drivers from your old graphics card and install the graphics card drivers for the new graphics card. I'll be right back. Alright guys, now since you got the physical card installed, you have to go in and remove the display drivers from your old video card. I got a little program called DDU. I'll put a link in the description for this. Just a little 8 gigabyte flash memory drive with this program installed. And uh, when you install, when you put this on a flash drive, it tells you they recommend to run this in safe mode. So let me put this in the computer here. All right, there you go. It noticed that there was a drive plugged in. But like I said, we gotta get this thing into safe mode. So we're gonna go down to start. We're gonna go up into settings. I'm gonna go up to update and security. Go over here to troubleshooting. Or I'm sorry, we we'll go down to recovery, advanced startup. Okay, then we're gonna go down to troubleshooting, advanced options. Then we're gonna go to the startup settings, and we're gonna hit restart. Okay, once you get into the screen, you got the startup settings and all these options in front of you. We want to do enable safe mode, which says number four. So we want to tap number four. Okay, 
went over on safe mode. It's up here at the top. This is Microsoft Windows or build number and the release date and the black screens to have your pictures. And then all four corners it says safe mode. So we know we're in safe mode. Plus we got this little help window here that pops up. We're gonna exit out of this. We're gonna go down here and find our drive that's got the program on it. Once you find your le uh, drive letter, which ours is E, you up to this DDUV18.0.0.9. Get down here to say what display driver uninstaller. It's an application file. Double click on it. Select what type you want. We we're replacing the GPU. And it's already found it was Radeon Graphics because we had the RX 580 in here. And then you clean, then you hit this clean and restart. It's highly recommended. So we're gonna push that and it'll go through and erase all the old display drivers we got. And it should automatically restore it, which will put us right back into Windows. And it's restarting now. Okay, now since we're back in the desktop, we're going to pull up the web browser. We're going to go with EVGA RTX 2070 Super Black. Right there. Alright, guys, you want to click on the EVGA.com website here. And of course, they want you to buy one, which I wish I had knew that. I would have uh, bought mine from here. It's a little bit cheaper than what I paid for mine. Then you go up to services. Over here to drivers and BIOS. Choose the family. We have the 20 series family. Choose the OS, which is Windows 1064. Show the latest drivers. And right there we go. That was released on 415 of 2020. That's for any of the GeForce 20 series families. Windows 1064. Hit download. Make sure it gives you a download folder. All right, go down here and open when done. There we go. Do you want to allow this app to make changes? You hit yes. Hit yes, it's going to put it in the C drive in the NVIDIA folder for you. Hit yes, and let it do its thing. Alright, here you can either check, click uh, NVIDIA graphics drivers or NG Force Experience or just the drivers alone. And we'll take both. We'll agree to the license and agreements and hit continue. Express is fine for me. And let, let it uh, install them for you. And yes, the screen's flashing a few times. That's normal while it, while it downloads and installs the display drivers. All right, guys. When you get in, get to this point, it says NVIDIA installer has finished. Create a desktop shortcut for the NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Launch, launch NVIDIA GeForce Experience. And, okay, we can do that. We'll 
close it and exit out of the window. Well, we could have done that a long time ago, I guess. And of course, you want. And of course, if you want to use the GeForce Experience, you go give them your email address and sign in with an account, make you an account. But that's pretty well it. That's the way you install the graphics card physically. That's the way you remove the old display drivers, and the way you install the new ones. Let me get reset up here, guys, and uh, I'll be back to with my conclusion on the video. All right. Also, that's how you physically. Replace your video cord. I also showed you how to uninstall them drivers for your old GPU and install the new GPU, which a lot of people don't show that, but that is pretty important to do. Um, that way, whenever your graphics card starts doing what it needs to do, Windows don't try to use the old drivers or whatnot. You know, it's pretty important to get them old drivers out. Plus, it takes up room on your hard drive and whatnot. You know, so it's better to be able to take them drivers out than it is just to leave them in there. And I'm, well, I'll leave a link in the description below for DDU if you'd like to, if you're thinking about doing this process and you want to take them old drivers out, you could go into your X64 programs and try to leave them out way, but if it's an AMD system, it's all wrapped up into the one, one program and it gets a little bit complicated at that point to take them out. So it's just easier to use a program like DDU. Replacing your graphics card is one of the easiest and simplest ways to get better gaming performance out of your gaming machine. You know, I showed you in the video how to do it. It's it's simple to do. It's easy to do. You know, if you built your own computer, you know how to in, how to install one. You know, taking them out it's just a reverse order of putting it in. But them drivers, you know, like I mentioned, you know, it's pretty important to get them drivers out. And a lot of people don't know how to get them old drivers out. Some people show you how to replace or upgrade your GPU, but they don't mention them drivers. And you have to have the software to match the hardware. You know, it, it's common throughout the computer world. You know, it's just your software and your hardware has to match up or it just ain't gonna function properly. But anyways, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's video, guys. Make sure you give me a like if you like this video. Give me down, give me a thumbs down if you didn't like this video. There's a comment section below. I'll get through them every weekend on my live show on Saturday morning, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time here in the U.S. While you're down there, don't forget that lonely little subscribe button and notification bell. That way you're notified next time I put out a video or I get live. And with all that being said, you all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video or live stream.